Adam and Sam back again with your second dose of wrestling news. Sam, are you still well? Oh, I'm still just grand, Adam. How are you? Oh, I'm grand. I've been to B&Q. I've oh. bought some new underlay. It's all what kicking off. Like? But let's not talk about the underlay <laughs> as much as I'd like to. Let's talk about wrestling news. AEW are reportedly close to signing two major names. Wrestling legends are calling for an all-women's WWE show, and Daniel Bryan has claimed that his neck is wrecked. We'll tell you more in a bit. Kicking things off with the news that AEW are very close indeed to signing two very prominent wrestling names to their organization. We are talking about Tessa Blanchard and Darga. This comes via SE Scoops, who are reporting that they're in those talks. The negotiations apparently have been going on for a little over a month, but apparently it's all but a formality until they are signed. So expect that to happen very, very soon. We will, of course, keep you updated. Um, these are two wrestlers who are very, very talented in the ring. Tessa Blanchard doesn't come without her controversy. Um, obviously, uh, she has been accused um, of racism uh, and bullying backstage. Uh, she has strongly denied those rumors. And it's been stated by various AEW personnel in the past that they weren't really looking to sign her. It, it appeared that she was probably going to go WWE way, maybe NXT. And um, we've heard those, those, those rumors for a long, long time now, but apparently it, it's going to be it's going to be Tony Khan's organization. What are your thoughts on this, Sam? It's a difficult one to traverse, isn't it? Because I mean, with the the accusations that are out there, there's talks. Uh, apparently, you know, the AEW officials close to the SE scoops. Uh, sorry, the 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 source close to the SE scoops story. Uh, has said that AW officials have reportedly discussed the idea of addressing the controversies and giving her a storyline that focuses on like a redemption angle. But I, I, I feel that would be, you know, it, I think that's I, really tacky. You know, yeah, I don't think it'd be I, right I, to do that. It's it's a, it's a real life thing. It's not her wrestling character didn't do yeah. this stuff. Uh, we, we're watching the the characters that we see on screen are different to the people behind the scenes. We learned that time and time again. I'm not keen on that happening as well. And I think they would be smart enough not to do that. But I guess we will. We will see there. I'm, I'm not taking anything away from Tessa. In the ring, I think she is one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. And the stuff that I've seen um, of, of Darga, I know all I've seen is a few bits here. I saw a match with him and Jake Crist in Impact, yeah. which I remember seeing uh, being really good. And I've, uh, I've seen a few bits of AAA stuff. Um, but he, they're, they're very, very, very talented wrestlers. But um, obviously, Tess is the real talking point as far as... We've been waiting for a long time to see where she was going to end up. But yeah, AEW appears to be it. Sorry for any crunching in the background, everyone, by the way. My cat is currently chowing down. Moving forward, uh, Lance Storm uh, has made some interesting comments. So earlier this week, um, there, uh, following all the Mickey James stuff, uh, Mickey James said that she had pitched an idea to do an all-women's wrestling show that WWE would produce. She was told that women don't draw, that nobody would watch that show. Um, but she has been backed up um, by a few wrestling legends, it's fair to say, one of which, Mick Foley, who tweeted, saying, Dear Vince, an all-women's brand needs to happen in WWE unless you want AEW to beat you to the punch. Sincerely, Mick, at Vince McMahon. Uh, and Lance Storm has also uh, given a few comments, Sam. Uh, yeah, so Lance was... Uh, he, he jumped online... Uh, in the early hours to respond to some tweets that were kind of in and around this argument that women's wrestling doesn't draw. Uh, and he responded to a tweet that said, uh, they've given main events to women and the drop-off is big. They know the women don't draw much, so they're not going to put them on TV for too long. So Lance replied to, well, he quote tweeted this with, Becky Lynch drew in key segments and main events. The focus, story, and long-term presentation needs to be there for anyone to draw in the main event. You can't just throw any two people, male or female, in the main event and expect them to draw. You want the women to draw, they need to have credible presentation and consistent, strong booking for promos and matches so that they're viewed as top stars and seen as truly important. Women can draw, and Becky proved that. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. I actually really don't like the idea of an 
all women's brand, especially if it was, you know, if it was exclusive, that's where you saw the women of WWE on the, yeah. on the women's WWE show. I, I, I think the, the issue has been that WWE for so long presented women as little more than eye candy. Um, and they were never given valuable time. They were often given demeaning or just crap storylines. Um, but as, as Lance says there, if, if you book if you book women properly, people will invest. Of course they will. Yeah. They don't need a separate show. Give them the same amount of investment as you give your male wrestlers and people will engage with what's on the screen and people will get into it. It's happened before. It's, it can happen again. It's 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 all it takes. And it's, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable for people that go on like they don't like women's wrestling, X, Y, Z, whatever, fine. But it, it has to change. It has to change and of it course, is going to yeah. change. And... You know, it's just going to require this care around the booking. And as Foley said, if WWE aren't going to do it, then I'm, I'm sure most other companies are going to move forward into the 21st century and actually start taking it seriously. Yeah, sure. I, 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 to me, I, I just feel like we've taken a bit of a step back in WWE um, recently, where it's pretty much since Ronda left, Yeah. where you rarely see women's storylines that don't revolve around the belt. Um, they have happened. There have been there have been the odd occasion, but it, 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 we're back to the point where unless you're involved in a title feud, it's unlikely you're going to get much more TV time than maybe some well, thrown together half ass tag match or just a singles match that to, ultimately doesn't mean much. It got to a point on SmackDown, uh, you know, not fairly recently, but about six seven months ago, there was a time. It might even be as recent as three four months ago, actually, um, but. It got to a point where, you know, you even had women's championship matches or people in and around the, the title chase going, you know, two minutes. And it's mm -hmm. like, what, what are we supposed to do with that? It's, it's a massive step back, isn't it? Yep. It really is. Um, next up, some news regarding um, New Japan and the reasons for the AEW Impact partnerships we've seen. And this is straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, Takami Obari, the president of New Japan, recently conducting an interview for the promotion's website, what did he say, Samuel? Uh, so he said that he feels the standard model of the business is no longer sufficient in terms of wrestling. Uh, he says that we are in the dream business, presenting them and making them real. Having a linear approach to business, that only restricts us and it stops fans getting invested. Uh, he feels that the sport is star-centric as well. Wrestling as a whole, he feels, is less about promotions, or it should be less about promotions and more about the stars. Uh, and promotions should be looking to do whatever they can for the fans and the talent. If our wrestlers say, I want to wrestle that guy, I want to test myself against this guy, I want to show that, uh, I want to show that I'm better than that guy, then it becomes our job as a company to do what we can to back them. Make it happen and make it successful. That goes for the fans too. If there's a match you guys want to see, we will do what we can to make that happen. It's pretty cool, that, isn't it? I, yeah. I, I just hope they, they stick to it. It certainly sounds like uh, they're, they're doing so. It, it sort of... It, it, it threw me back to that... Um, you remember that promo where uh, all of the, the WWE, it was like um, Vince and Steph and Trips and Shane were all in the ring and going, you are the authority <laughs> now, guys. <laughs> it, it reads a bit like that, but I actually feel like uh, they're probably a little more committed to delivering what yeah, they're Yeah, I mean, a company that, and that's, cool. that's had uh, a lot of working relationships uh, since its inception. It, it makes sense that they'd want to get back to that after, you know, moving into a new generation with uh, management mm -hmm. there. For sure. I mean, there are so many potential dream matches, and it's cool that they're go they're going to listen to the fans and the wrestlers themselves. Because I mean, if you if you can get that dream combination of the fans being invested in something, but also the wrestlers really wanting to work together, then the quality of what is being put together is going to be even better. Right? Yeah. And I I you know as much as I'm enjoying New Japan AEW Impact, what I really want I just want Otis versus Ishii. Just, just two absolute <laughs> units just smashing into each other. 60 minutes. Daniel no pins Bryan, allowed before the 58-minute mark. Daniel Bryan recently <laughs> said that Otis could be a Vader-like figure it if could. he was booked in New yeah. Japan. Yeah, I, I don't think he's 100%. wrong. Speaking of Daniel Bryan, hell of a segue once again, Adam. Um, Daniel Bryan has spoken to TV Line 
And a really interesting quote from this, he noted that his neck was wrecked following the tag team match on Friday night SmackDown. Uh, he said, I had a tag team match on SmackDown last Friday and it was a lot of fun, but my neck was just wrecked. I'm going to be 40 in May and my daughter, daughter sorry, likes to get on my shoulders to pick leaves from a Japanese maple in front of our house. He's such a hipster, isn't he? Uh, but I also be, need to be more respectful of the people who are relying on me to go to work. I have to give them an answer sooner rather than later. Everything is pointing to Daniel Bryan going part-time. I mean, he's even yeah. said it himself. There are lots of people still speculating that, hey, maybe he will pop up on Raw. I'd love him to just drop by NXT and do a few oh. matches there, even before he takes a little bit of time away. There are, you know, I, we don't need to list the dream matches from the... There, there are too many. Just, just um, Walter. But, just give me Walter. Just give me Walter Bryan. Brian Walter. Oh. I don't want Brian to die. I want him to have... No, no just no, David it's, it's, David Goliath, I'd, I'd isn't it? it actually. No, oh, I'd love that. It'd, it'd be, great. be a hell of a match. Hell of a match. Finishing things off now. Speaking of Walter as well, uh, our NXT UK champion, of course. Um, this relates to NXT UK. It's bad news if you haven't already heard. WWE have cancelled NXT UK TakeOver Dublin. Um, it's been taken off Ticketmaster and the Three Arenas website. It's been cancelled outright after being twice delayed during the pandemic. Um, and this is a real shame. The last NXT UK takeover proper was all the way back in January of 2020. I believe this was going to be on the same night as uh, Money in the Bank um, 2021. Yeah, it would have been a it would have been a hell of a run in pre show that <laughs> just sort of you yeah. know a full day of wrestling and then you know stay up till 5 a.m. For us, it, it's it's a sh- it's a shame for for yeah. all of the hardworking NXT UK superstars uh, for the show to be cancelled. But things are slowly returning to normal. We That's will get there sooner rather say. than later. I'm sure it'll bounce back. 